In a significant development, Captain Ibrahim Traore, the leader of Burkina Faso's military junta, announced on Friday that presidential elections would be postponed until the nation's security situation improves to ensure the safety of all voters. Traoré, who assumed control through a coup on September 30, 2022, had previously promised to hold elections by July 2024. However, the ongoing security challenges in the country have prompted him to prioritize stability before democratic processes. Captain Ibrahim Traoré also revealed his intentions to amend the constitution to better address the interests and concerns of the general population. This move indicates a commitment to incorporating broader perspectives and ensuring a more inclusive political system in Burkina Faso. In the capital city of Ouagadougou, hundreds of Captain Traoré's supporters gathered at Place de la Nation, proudly waving the Burkinabe flags and displaying signs featuring images of the interim president. The rally demonstrated popular support for Traoré's leadership amidst the security challenges facing the nation. The citizens, weary of the deadly violence and disillusioned with the previous government, see Traoré's actions as necessary steps towards stability and progress. Burkina Faso has been grappling with a deteriorating security situation, exacerbated by the presence of armed groups affiliated with Al-Qaeda and the Islamic State. These groups have carried out attacks, resulting in the loss of thousands of lives and the displacement of millions of people in Burkina Faso and neighboring countries, including Mali and Niger. While Traoré's decision to delay elections may raise concerns about the consolidation of power, it is important to consider the complex security environment in which Burkina Faso finds itself. The military junta's focus on strengthening security and stability before proceeding with elections reflects a genuine concern for the safety and well-being of the Burkinabe people. Internationally, the coups in Burkina Faso and other Sahel countries have received mixed reactions. While some Western nations have expressed concerns over the erosion of democracy, Traoré's anti-French rhetoric and actions, such as expelling French troops and taking measures against French media, have gained support among certain segments of the population. The recent arrest of four officers involved in a foiled coup attempt further underscores the fragility of Burkina Faso's political landscape. Investigations are underway to identify any individuals or groups responsible for plotting against Traoré's leadership. The decision to delay elections in Burkina Faso represents a delicate balancing act between ensuring security and progressing towards democratic governance. It remains to be seen how Captain Ibrahim Traoré will navigate these challenges and lead Burkina Faso towards a more stable and inclusive future. Please let us know your thoughts on Burkina Faso's decision to delay elections in the comments section.